And welcome to the Aaron Katzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Katzman. We're here to speak to you about your life, your money, and your investments. And as always, we're coming to you from the spiritual and soon-to-be financial capital of the world, Jerusalem, Israel. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at Lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. You can check me out on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatzman, aaronkatzman.com. Be sure to follow me both on LinkedIn and Twitter and sign up for our new YouTube channel where you get all of this great information in one spot. So I'm going to do something a little different today, okay? This is a, a call, this is a recording that's going out, a show, which is going out to all of you 20 and 30 somethings out there who work in high tech, who have come into a huge amount of money. Now, the first thing for those of you who have, please call me up and I'd be happy to work with you on your financial plan. But I'd actually like to uh, speak about more like the philosophy of money. Why do I think it's important? Because I think we're set up for a third. So potential downfalls um, with this demographic uh, as we move forward. There's no secret, I've written about it a ton of times, and I'm not the only one, um, that there's a lot of research out there that speaks about people who come into lots of cash, windfalls, um, suddenly, whether it be the lottery winner. Most research is done on lottery winners and how the fact that after like five years, Lottery winners are bankrupt. Why are they bankrupt? Because they never prepared. Suddenly they came into a lot of money and they didn't have a plan. And what happened? They just spent, 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 spent. It changed their life. They probably quit their job and poof, bankruptcy. Okay. They were living in the gutter of the street. Now, for all you techies out there, I don't want you to have the same issues. So you have to prepare yourself for your big exit, right? We know there's, you know, the streets of Tel Aviv these days are paved with gold, literally, right? There's money being thrown at everything. If you're getting into the high-tech world, you're going to get a big signing bonus and there's happy hours and there are concerts and there are, you know, foosball tables and they bring in chefs if you work at Microsoft Israel, all this kind of stuff. Money is flowing. But we have to take a step back. If you get it, if you're if you're potentially going to have an exit, or you're you know you had an exit, you you've got a lot of money sitting there. It's really important to take your time before you go out and blow your money, because I can almost guarantee you that if you do, and you don't take the time, and you just go out and you buy a beautiful house, penthouse in Tel Aviv, it's on a high rise, and you buy yourself a Tesla, and you buy 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 buy, at the end of the day, you have nothing left. Okay, and just like starting from scratch. So the first thing you need to do is really sit down with a pen and paper or pencil and paper and sort of map out where do you want to be? What do you want to do? Right. You're 25 years old, 20, 30 years old. Do you really want to retire? Do you want to just like quit at the age of 30 years old? My hunch is you don't want to do that. Now, you don't necessarily have to join the rat race of, of tech. You can become a teacher. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. Right. But you've got to be smart. If you if you buy three houses, you know, three apartments all over the world and a Tesla and then you want to become a teacher, you might be up the creek in 10 years from now. Right. There's no reason to do it. You can sort of set up your life financially um, if you do things right. So the first thing is really map it out. What do you want to do? Where do you want to be? OK, then. It's OK to spend the money. Right. But not all at once. Right? Don't buy everybody in your family a new house. You don't have to do that. Right? We see that with the athletes when they sign big contracts, um, the lottery winners, right? They're, as they say in the Hebrew vernacular, they're large, right? Large for, for those who don't speak Hebrew. It sounds like a real Hebrew word, doesn't it? Word, doesn't it? Uh, large means like you're out there and you give and you're, you know, you throw caution to the wind, right? You don't care if you've got the money or not. You just give and you give a lot. We don't want you to do that, right? We want you to be smart and strategic about your newfound money, right? So you can certainly buy an apartment, right? But don't overbuy an apartment, right? Sit down with a financial advisor, financial planner, and understand how much money did you come into? Some, certain times, it's not as much as you think in terms of the long term. Right? It's great 
you came into a couple million dollars, but a couple million dollars, um, if you're talking about the long, for 50 years from now, if you're going to retire, it's probably not going to be enough to, to help you make ends meet. So sit down, map out what you want to do, map out your finances. Okay. And then, and this is where it becomes interesting. It's not all about you, right? You are given a gift. It's not because you are the greatest programmer on planet earth that you now have millions of dollars in the bank. Okay. Let's just be honest. I know this sounds cruel, but luck did play a little bit of a part in it. And why don't you take advantage of that? And I'm going to get preachy, but give back to society a little bit. Okay. You got this tremendous gift and maybe give back, right? You can dictate where to give the money. You don't have to give it to some organization. You can actually be creative and fund um, an organization or a project which speaks to you, which is near and dear to your heart, right? You don't just have to give to, I don't know, the Salvation Army, right? The United Way, or whatever the equivalent is in Israel. And I'm not bashing those organizations, they're great organizations, but you don't have to sort of go big. You can be really targeted and really make a difference. And I think that's where um, you really should focus, right? The financial part and being rich is all great, but you can make a difference. Why not take advantage of that? Um, moving forward, you can make a difference today with the, with your newfound money. And maybe you can make, make a difference by either creating something in tech which will um, help the social fabric of society, let's say, or maybe you can do a career switch um, and do the same thing. I spoke recently with, with somebody who was in the rat race, actually, and at the age of 50, decided to become a nurse, which I thought was absolutely uh, incredible. They gave up a life of high tech, believe it or not, and they didn't, each, they didn't hit the big, you know, they had a, a nice sort of mid-sized exit. They didn't hit the, the grand slam, right? It was more like a single or a double, a um, couple hundred thousand dollars, but they decided that that was it. They're going to become a nurse because that's what they always, they always had a passion for helping people, always sort of liked medicine and wanted to do some kind of combination of the two and then started going to nursing. So I think that's really interesting. Um, so if you'd like to speak more about this, feel free to, to reach out to me. I'll give you my contact information in a second. But and even if you don't, think about it. Okay, take some time before you meet the real estate agents, before you run to, you know, the Lexus or the, the, the Tesla dealership and everything else you can spend money on. Take some time and think about what you can do with the money to really make a difference. Obviously, set yourself up financially for life. There's no question about that. Um, but there's more to do, right? There's more that you can do with your newfound riches from your high tech exit. You have been tuning in to the Aaron Katzman Show. I am your host and preacher, apparently, Aaron, and moral compass, Aaron Katzman, where he speaks about your life, your money, and your investments. If you got any questions or comments, or you want to complain about what I said, send me an email, Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. You can check me out on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatsman, aaronkatzman.com. Be sure to follow me on both LinkedIn and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you get all kinds of unbelievable moral, preachy, and financial advice all in one spot. It's been a pleasure and we will speak to you soon.